Our second press conference is with the winners of each of the categories in the six hours of Mexico for LMP1 Privateer, the Rebellion Racing of 13. Alexander Kuritori, Dominic Kreihan, and Matthew Tusha of the RGR Sports number 43, Ligia Nissan, Bruno Senna, Colin Gonzalez, and Philippe Albuquerque in LMP2, and in GT Pro, the Aston Martin Racing of Richie Senaway and Darren Turner. Ireland GT and the Abu Dhabi Proton Racing Porsche of David Hemai Hansen, Khalid Al Kasabi, and Patrick Long. Let's kick off with the uh, LMP1 Privates then, Rebellion Racing. Alexander, firstly, could you? Um, how, was, uh, how was your race? Uh, to, be, to be honest, it was uh, quite an eventful. Uh, we'd like to have a bit more battle, for sure. Uh, but, you know, here we knew we had to nurse the car. Uh, with the altitude, there was a lot of challenges uh, for, for the mechanical side, so we were really looking after the car throughout the race. Um, at the start, we got a bit boxed in with the, with the Toyotas, so because we had quite a bit more power at the start, um, and that gave an opportunity for uh, the CLM to pass us at the start, but then uh, pretty quickly then we could get the upper hand again and then start to pull away. And like I said, then it was just a matter of bringing the car home really and, and looking after it. And, uh, my, my two teammates did a, a good job with it, and uh, it's a great reward for the team. Uh, Dominic, in terms of the conditions, it wasn't just a race against your other competitors, it was really against the track today, wasn't it? it? Yeah, definitely. It was. Um, to start off, uh, yeah, I got in the car qu quite early, being the last driver, like two, two hours, 45 minutes before the end, I think. And uh, then it was quite tricky with the rain coming in. Uh, we had to change to it just twice. Um, so I didn't really know what to expect uh, of track uh, with all the soft, soft corners with uh, normally in the dry taking a lot of curves which you wouldn't obviously in the rain um, it was very tricky but uh, yeah as Alex said it was just a race to, to bring it home it was a, sometimes a bit boring but a real, real competition like the, the colors did a good job but they had the, some sort of problems I don't know what they had exactly um, so we're hoping to, to finish the season well and to have more competition maybe next year. Fingers crossed. Matteo, <laughs> uh, were you missing your teammates this weekend? Not only on track in terms of racing them, but also kind of helping set the car up and stuff? Yeah, well, I sure, sure it's always uh, really working as a team and 12 was helping us a lot. Uh, but now we have, to, we have to, to move on and to move with 13. Uh, car is, car 12 is still helping us in Europe and we're hoping to develop some more with uh, with this this loss, I would say. Uh, but now we are working fine with our our teammate, with our engineer, and uh, trying to get the best out of us of one car. Thank you very much. Uh, on to LMP2 and the RGR Sport team. Ricardo, this is uh, a dream result, uh, something that you could have only wish for, and a perfect result. Do you it's sinking in? Two microphones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's gonna take a while to sink in. Um, we knew since the beginning of the year that we were competitive, uh, we won the first race. But it's such a tough uh, category that to win a game, uh, you never know when it's going to happen. And we saw the end of the race, it was nerve-wracking. Uh, I didn't even want to watch the TV anymore. And I wanted to fast-track the clock, but uh, yeah, we were here. And for me, uh, the podium was very special. Uh, to have the people singing after the anthem was over, very nice. It's, uh, it's going to sink in my brain forever. Good stuff. Bruno, the uh, opening stint for you, and you managed to pull a, a really healthy margin, showing the pace that you had in qualifying yesterday and hadn't disappeared in today. Well, it's, uh, it was a tough race, I guess. Um, we had, the, obviously, in terms of results, it's a perfect race. We had pole position, fastest lap, and uh, pick a win. But, uh, you know, we, the race didn't go quite as planned. We lost a lot of time with different things. But the car was there. You know, the team did a fantastic job from the first lap I did with the car. I was comfortable and I was happy and I could just push. In the race was the same thing, I opened up a nice gap to, to P2. Then Rask was catching me a little bit as uh, the tires struggled a little bit, but towards the end the tires were perfect again and I, and I had a confidence to push. So I didn't spend much time in the car today. Uh, the, the guy who won the race for us was Mr. Albuquerque, uh, who did a fantastic job and Ricardo as well. I mean, his team was fantastic and uh, man, it was, this, this podium is very special. I'll never forget it for sure. Felipe, yes, you did a lot of the running today. They're all in different conditions, changing conditions. 
uh, and with a lot of pressure from Lapierre at the end, uh, just tell us how, how hard it was. I mean, uh, like Bruno was saying, Enrique, they, they did a good job, but in the end, six hours, many things happened, and we ended up in a situation that we were 30 seconds away from the top, top two guys, and I just smith in the car with so much anger to fight for the win, and uh, I was dropping down the seconds into Lapierre, and um, then I heard the radio that uh, Jota had a problem. I still cool I mean, because I wanted to win because I knew how important this was for us. And uh, when I heard that they had a, a, a drive-through, I became from the cat to the rat. <laughs> so he was catching me back. And uh, when the wet was coming on, I knew what he was thinking. He was taking risks to put pressure on me. It's just uh, it was a, min a mental game. Just keep it, keep it nice and steady. Well, once I, one time I went really well at T1. But in the end, I wanted so bad this win and for the team and how important it was that uh, I gave everything. And in the end, I knew how special it would be in the podium. And it was, it's, I'm not a Mexican, but uh, it, you know, it almost came a, a drop into my eyes that the, the national anthem everyone's singing is just so special. And uh, yeah, maybe we will get maybe the passport, right? The Mexican passport. <laughs> so, Fantastic, really happy with this. I think that's going to be a good party tonight, that's for sure. Uh, off the GT category then, um, the Aston Martin uh, racing car has been the car to have all weekend for sure, Richie. Um, your pace in the wet specifically was better even than your teammate. Yeah, it was a good race for us and uh, obviously we had a big advantage here this weekend, so it looked like if the race stayed dry the whole way it was going to be a pretty easy one too, but uh, then when the rain came it kind of, uh, you know, it was uh, mixed things up a bit and it was just kind of like trying to keep the thing on the track and uh, you know it was tempting to come in for inters but I knew it was better just to stay out and you know try and take an advantage by not stopping but really happy for, for AMR it's our first win of, of the season this year so um, yeah it's, it's great for them and happy that we can we can do that for them and also for Dunlop as well it's our first season working with Dunlop and for them to get the pole yesterday and, and for us to win today for them is a you know it's a privilege for us to provide that for them so yeah, I mean, the, the rain made it a, a fun race, I think, and uh, made it a lot more exciting than what it would have been if it stayed dry the whole time, so I really enjoyed it. Darren, what made the difference today for the Aston, and uh, uh, did it sort of level out where the rain came with the Ferrari kind of catching at the end, but they also had a pit stop today? Um, funny that Richie enjoyed it, I was like not enjoying it at the end, so uh, uh, it was really stressful, um, the last sort of hour and a half, and uh, the pace of the, the competition was really strong, and, Obviously we had a bit of a buffer at that stage, but um, you know, I was trying to work it out. The team are telling you how many laps to go and what the gap is, and I'm trying to do the math and I'm driving around to sort of say, yeah, I think we'll be all right, and I can sort of throttle back a bit and not take too many risks. But um, it was a great result for the team, and um, I'd probably say the, the sort of turning point for us in the race was Richie stint on the, on the slick tyres in, in those wet conditions, and that really sort of uh, helped us get to the end. Good stuff, thank you very much. Uh, and over to the GTM category, definitely a Porsche, uh, the car to have. Uh, Khalid, firstly, it was definitely the car to have the Porsche today, uh, but your pace also is incredibly strong in comparison to the other Porsche cars. Uh, yeah, the <coughs> Porsche was quite good over here. I think we didn't lose as much as the others with the high altitude. Uh, it was a great track, a great race. Uh, we've been having uh, bad luck a few races, and now uh, Mexico is a good luck charm for us. I think we should have maybe all our races here in Mexico and call it's the WEC and MEC. Uh, Pat, you had an enjoyable day, a good battle with Ben Barker in the golf racing in the first stint, and then obviously the mixed conditions in the last stint as well. Yeah, the good thing about this class is there's a lot of mixed strategies. Um, I think there were probably four or five out of the seven cars of different strategies. Uh, in the end, I think that the word AM doesn't do this class justice. The guy to the right and left of me, uh, they're putting in lap times and consistency of a, a lot of people who get paid to do this. And uh, ironically, I think we're the only car out there that, that the two drivers are silver and the bronze actually have a real job. So I'm extremely proud to drive with these two guys. They're ultimately the reason uh, that we won today, because if you look at the average stint pace of the three drivers, that was the difference. So I think you could have given us any one of those cars today, and uh, these two guys definitely put us up front. Nice one. Uh, David, you had also a very fun battle with the KCMG car points. Yeah, it, it was up and down race in terms of strategy when we were on the wet tires and other were in slicks and, and vice versa. I, I had lots of fun with the Ferrari passing them like they were standing still when I was on wet and then they passed me like I was standing still when the track dried up. 
So fun mixing it back and forth and just wonderful to win for Porsche the first time in WC this year. Um, amazing. Uh, and hopefully the bad luck is behind us and, and we can make this happen.